But I was watching his post-match interview there right now from the Hibs press room. I mean, that's one thing about him. He's not somebody... He's not somebody he's going to hide. He doesn't. It doesn't appear to me to lack sort of confidence in him, even though he's taking all that stick. You know, there's a. You've got to admire him for that at least. Yeah, yeah I mean, you know, yeah. coming to Glasgow and playing in front of that high boots crowd when things aren't going well, as we all know, can be tough in itself. You know, it's a, it can be an unforgiving place. I think it was Conor Colson who says that when you're losing, it's the worst place to play. When you're winning, it's the best place to play. Yeah. Mike said, "Oh, will have will, will fully experienced that now." I mean, what what I think character wise, he never hides. I mean, that's that's you know, and we've seen some absolutely. It's been brutal for him at times this season. You know, booed off several times, fans jeering him, place going berserk when he's missing chance after chance, or when the you know hold up play, the ball bouncing off him. So the fact that he still keeps coming back for more says a lot about his, his strength of character. And I think you have to give him credit for that. And as you say, if Rangers can just get that wee bit of confidence into him. You know, you know, remove that extra touch that he seems to need sometimes, so he can just hit the ball, get yeah. out his feet, and take the strike. Then I think you know there's something he can work there. As I say, I mean, there's every chance he could end the season with 20 goals and still be regarded <laughs> by a lot of fans as, as a failed signing. You know, because you know, put this way, I mean, you look at the chance he has at Celtic Park. I think a properly fit, confident striker takes one touch and strikes it and beats a goalkeeper. The fact that he sort of Doddled in the ball, doddled, and they allowed the challenge to come in and eventually just sort of runs the ball into Joe Hart's hand. That just showed you the, frig- the fragility at times with him. But I think the fact that, you know, as you say, he keeps coming back for more, always wanting the ball, always wanting the, the ball delivered into him, shows that, yeah, okay, he's, he's not going to be perfect, but at least he's going to put himself in there. And, you know, eventually, if you give him enough chances, he will get the goals. But I think, you know, as I say, that the need for this Rangers team is to get somebody who's just reliable more that you know when it goes in there you know the, the chances are going to be taken so you know it's up to him if they fight for his place there's, there's a dish, added competition now with, with, with Silva being in there still don't really see Silva click but you know he's only been here two three weeks so it, it'll be interesting to see how that one develops but at least you know Clement now has options which you know before Silva's arrival it was looking pretty sort of scant on, on that front. Yeah, you see, you did mention earlier he has been jeered by the fans, but they were singing his name the other night. I mean, do you think there is an appreciation there, maybe from them, that he is a guy that, despite all this stick, you know, he still has stick the ball in the net, still coming back for more. I think, I think all fans want to see players do well. They don't want to be jeering, you know, yeah. players. I mean, and, and I'm sure there's a, there's a great story there. I think they'd love to see that redemption arc sort of come, you know, come in. You know, if, if you know. Said Odessos was to sort of turn around and become, you know, the guy that you know wins them. Oh, oh, exactly, you know, they'd love that story, but they want to see him do well, they're willing him to do well. It's just now up to him to do well. It's, it's the, yeah. the responsibility falls on his shoulders to, to keep, keep doing what he did last night. As I say, you know, it's only four days earlier he was at the Barton, he gets a goal, but he misses three huge chances. Yeah. I was lucky my car was parked just a bit round towards you know, the corner flag at the Barton <laughs> that night, otherwise, the wind screen might have been in trouble. And about to get put over the fence, but you know, listen, fair play. I mean, he, he keeps on trying. You know, I think other guys would have just chucked it. I mean, we saw Sam Lammers, I don't think he could get out of the place quick enough when that option came to go back to Utrecht because he just wasn't having a great time either. Um, he seems to be doing okay since he's went back to Utrecht, so maybe it's just again about him finding his confidence. You know, we'll see what happens with him in the summer, but you know, for Dessers, if he keeps doing what he did uh, last night, then you know, he's got a great chance. Of, of, uh, of continuing holding on to that jersey. If he puts in performances like he did at Dumbarton, then I think he'll find himself back on the bench. 